Welcome back to Computer Networks. And in this video, we're going to have a bit of a look at network performance uh, and some of the different ways that we might measure that uh, and some of the inputs uh, into that as a concept. So let's hop over here. So the first important thing with computer networks is this concept of bandwidth, which actually refers to two different things. Uh, it can literally be the width of a frequency band. So this is the original meaning of it. Uh, and the meaning that we normally use in computer networks is quite related to that, but is not identical, which is the number of bits per second that we can transmit over a given link. And the relationship, of course, is that the wider the frequency band, the more you actually can transmit per second, uh, assuming various other things are equal. And so uh, these two have kind of become a little bit interrelated in that way. And typically when people talk about bandwidth, unless they're talking about the design of, for example, a cellular telecommunications network, in which case the bandwidth of a channel or perhaps even of a Wi-Fi uh, channel. Uh, they may then talk in megahertz. If it's in, if the units is uh, hertz or some multiple of hertz, then it will be the width of the frequency band. If it's in uh, megabits or megabytes per second, uh, then it will be related to the amount of data because we're measuring the number of bytes. And so uh, one megabit per second is as, a, as you'd expect. Uh, 1 million bits per second, so 10 to the 6 uh, bits per second. Uh, if we're uh, looking at that in terms of, uh, you know, in, in base 2, we can say this is not exactly equal, but it's pretty darn close to 2 to the power of 20 bits per second. Uh, so that will be uh, quite close. So one way that you can think about, uh, you know, the effect of bandwidth on a communications link is the higher the bandwidth when we're measuring it in bits or bytes per second, then the less time it takes to send each bit within a communication stream. So if, for example, we're sending it one megabit per second, it takes the inverse of that. So one over 10 to the power of six or 10 to the power of minus six, that is one one millionth of a second, one microsecond to transmit each bit. If we go to a link that's twice as fast, so two megabits per second, then it will take half as long. So it will take half a microsecond. If we went to a 500 kilobit uh, per second link, then it would take twice as long. It would take two uh, microseconds to send each bit. And so the easy way to think about all of this, so the, uh, the smaller or the narrower the bit width, then it, uh, the link will be faster because it takes less time to transmit a certain amount of data. And the greater the bandwidth, particularly if measured in bits or bytes, then the faster the communications will be transferred. So this whole idea of bandwidth really is a, an important one that you will need to, uh, uh, to understand. And we'll talk more about that in the next video as well.